Hey guys, we mentioned gaming here, and uh, this is a long review coming. I've been away for a little bit over a week now, so I haven't done any reviews, and I've got a couple coming out. So keep you tuned for more reviews. Uh, it's a very quiet time of the year for me. Okay, we've had the crew and stuff, um, but uh, sadly I didn't actually get to review the crew. I've still got to review a few other decent games though, and uh, you know they'll be out on YouTube ASAP. Anyway, this is Tennis in the Face, and this is brought to us by Ten Tons Limited, the same company that, or uh, publisher, developer that brought us a Sparkle and Crimson Land, and uh, as well as a few other titles. Now, this game is available on PlayStation 4, and this is the version that I played. However, it's also available on other platforms, uh, more specifically mobile platforms, mobile phones, tablets, and uh, more, which is kind of like. Uh, what this game looks to be. It looks to be a mobile platform type game, but it still works well on PS4 and it's still a great title. So you play as Pete, this guy with the blonde hair on the bottom left, and your goal is to go against uh, a dangerous uh, drinks company that's trying to take over the world. Energy drinks, folks, just to put that out there. And uh, yeah, your goal is to take down their evil corporation by defeating every single person in every single level possible. This game features a huge array of levels, and each level gets more complex and more fun as you play through. Obviously, um, the quicker or uh, the less balls slash cans slash different things you use to complete the level, the higher your score is going to be, and the higher up you're going to be on the online leaderboard. Now, there is no multiplayer as such, there is just the leaderboard scores, but that's enough for a game like this, you know, it's a smallish title, um, and it's done really, really well. The story is kind of vague. But the game itself is so fun and addictive, I found myself losing hours and hours into this title uh, easily. It's really a quality, quality game. So guys, you're probably wondering what score I gave this. Well, this game gets an 8 out of 10 for me. It's a really solid title. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my written review, which will be down in the description below. And, uh, well, partially, the link will be there. Click on the link, that'll send you to GameHeadlines.com. And from there, you can read my various reviews that I've got going on. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers.